Welcome to book. Hi. Um, allow me to introduce myself. Yeah, I think I will allow you. Um, th- thanks. Uh, I'm James Turner, and I just opened up a new progressive cupcake store down the street. I'm bringing samples of my gluten-free recipes to you, the good people of the neighborhood, for you to try out and discover your new favorite bakery fresh treats. Are you serious with that pitch? You look like you just fucked your mother. Um, I'm sorry. I've had a really rough day today. I've already been thrown out of five places, had three people take a swing at me, and one guy chased me down the street with a pitchfork. Why are people trying to attack you for giving away free cupcakes? And who the fuck has a pitchfork in Baltimore City? Why is there a giant cupcake parked in my spot? Oh, um, I'm, I'm sorry, that's, that's mine. I didn't realize there were black clansmen in the lollipop guild. <laughs> Not you too. I keep getting the same thing everywhere I go. Matt, you know there are black midgets though, right? I'm not a racist. I just want people to eat my delicious cupcakes. Why would he be racist for having a car that's shaped like a cupcake? It's not the shape of the car that makes him racist. It's the fact that it says KKK really big on the side. Whoa, you are definitely going to have to explain that. Oh, um, it's it's the name of my shop. Cupcakes, cupcakes, cupcakes. Why on earth would you spell cupcake with a K? I'm trying to be hip, dude. I'm trying to carve my own legacy in the highly competitive world of cupcakery. And I paid a lot of money to a PR firm who suggested it. Who is your PR guy, Satan? Yeah, no sane person is going to put the defining identifier of the Ku Klux Klan on a cupcake car. They just told me to do the K thing. I came up with the name. But why three Ks, though? Because my store is fairy tale themed, and everyone knows all fairy tales use the numbers three and seven. And it's ridiculous to say cupcakes seven times. More ridiculous than being a black fairy tale enthusiast who named his business after the racist organization that targets his own people? Why is everyone so small-minded and racist it's just a letter repeated three times it's up to you to make the connection it's just like how the nazis adopted the swastika even though it's the indian symbol for peace well you got a point there damn right i do here have a cupcake it doesn't taste racist just delicious you can't taste racism would you just try it one bite and you'll be transported to a world without racism Obama said the same thing, and look where that got us. Besides, I'm not eating anything made by an insane person wearing a sweat-stained wife beater and basketball shorts. This is just what I had under my cupcake costume I was originally going around in. Costume? Yeah. I'm the icing for the top of my cupcake car, and I carry a two-scale lit birthday candle. Why don't you let me go put it on, and I'll give you my original pitch. That way you can really get to see the intended effect of my sales pitch. As long as you bring more cupcakes. Great. Give me a second, and I'll be back to blow your mind. Why the hell are you encouraging him? I don't even care if he's racist or not anymore. You're so quick to judge. I think we may have really misconstrued this guy's intentions. I mean, he drives a cupcake car. How bad could he be? Wow. Right? (laughs) Right? Now, who can think about racism when faced with such whimsy and delight? Are you fucking kidding me? There isn't anything whimsical about wearing a white hood and carrying a burning torch. And why are you holding a noose in your other hand? Dude, it's not a noose. It's a lasso. Originally, it had a whole cowboy theme, but I ditched it because I thought it might be offensive to Native Americans. Oh, you you thought it might. I guess you wouldn't want to offend anyone. (laughs) Exactly. So now that we're on the same page, let me give you the pitch. I promise you won't find anything controversial about it. All right. Can either of you beatbox? Get the fuck out of here before I kill you and get blamed for the most confusing hate crime of all time. Fine, 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 fine. I'll leave. But before I do, do you guys accept food stamps? Because I'd like to get that Criterion Collection Edition Blu-ray of Birth of a Nation. Good God. What are you? I'm James Turner, and I'm half Asian.